Good morning, Graham School. Hello, my name is Nishta. And my name is Thuli. Today is Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. Jeff Bezos is one of the accomplished Americans in the modern day world. Coincidentally, he was born on this day in 1964. He is most famously known for being the founder, CEO, and president of the large multinational technology company, Amazon. He also founded the privately funded aerospace manufacturer called Blue Origin, who in 2015 successfully launched a VTVL vehicle and landed it back on Earth. Because of these accomplishments, he is estimated to be one of the top three richest people on the planet in the present. According to Forbes, he is the first person to ever have a net worth exceeding $200 billion, which is a lot of money. Today is your second day of minimum days and parent conferences. Great job, students and teachers, doing your conferences. If you have conferences today or for the rest of the week, make sure that you're on time. There are also still available spots later in the week. So if you want to have a parent conference, you can call the office and see if they can schedule one for you. Next thing is this week in all of your classes at one point in time, you are going to get a lesson on digital literacy. Digital literacy and understanding how to navigate the web is really, really important for all of us. Um, because of this, we also are going to have a special video from one of our reporters about the power of social media. Actually, the potentially negative influence of social media. Uh, check this out. That was powerful, and thanks, Aria, for creating that. Seventeen percent of high school students have contemplated suicide and eight percent have made a, an attempt at suicide in the past 12 months. These teens and tweens all have one thing in common. They have all lost their lives partly due to cyberbullying and social media. Social media can be depressive and dangerous to teens who don't know how to wield it. Social media, you know, just really intensifies this already, you know, existing awareness and preoccupation with their peers. In just a single decade, suicide rates have risen 150% and the rate of self-harming for girls between 10 and 14 has nearly tripled. When something goes wrong on social media, their depression can take a whole new level. And for some, that level is suicide. It is scientifically proven that women are more likely to become depressed due to social media than men. In a recent survey, 41.4% of girls say they use social media 5 hours plus per day, while 11.1% of boys say the same thing. And nearly 40% of those girls who admit they use social media for more than 5 hours a day show several symptoms of depression. The number one and two things that we see at our site is anxiety and depression. This especially occurs in teens and tweens who use between 7 and 11 social media platforms, while teens and tweens who use 0 to 2 platforms have a much less chance for anxiety and depression. In 2012, around 5.5% of teens had severe depression, and in 2018, this number doubled. Yet another negative impact of social media is jealousy. 65% of people say they post social media images to make friends and family jealous. 17% say they post images to make vacations look better than they really are. And 51% post images to compete with others. There's somebody out there who's thinner than I am. There's somebody out there who has better clothes than me, or there's somebody out there, you know, who seems to have more friends. Um, and it can cause a great deal of pain and suffering to think that they don't have enough. This leads to cyberbullying's effect on the mental health of teens and tweens, and how words have the ability to end a life or have long-term impacts. People can more easily target and bully one another when they don't have to look one another in the eye. By bullying others over social media, 
consequences seem to vanish. As a society, you know, when there are known consequences in place, people tend to not shoot one another, to not hit one another, you know, to, to not steal from one another. And this can grow into something more. It can make students not want to come to school. You know, it can make them feel unsafe around their classmates. You know, and it opens them up to a whole host of really terrible things, you know, anxiety, depression. Nearly 43% of kids have been bullied online, and one in four have had it happen to them more than once. It's not just anxiety and depression. Cyberbullying can cause teens to harm themselves, have eating disorders, and skip school altogether. But eliminating social media isn't necessarily the solution. There are many positives that help not only teens and tweens, but people of all ages. Teens or experts will oftentimes post things to kind of educate others about how to deal with really difficult situations. Especially right now when everyone's isolated in their home, I think social media has the capacity to enable us to connect with one another. Most importantly, it reminds us that we are not alone. You know, empathy, kindness, you know, filling other people's buckets versus taking things out of it. We need to work on reinforcing those lessons, you know, and, and continuing those lessons probably throughout most people's entire lives. The golden rule applies here more than ever. Empathy is an important skill and may be able to fix the negative effects of social media. Mindfulness has this ability to be able to kind of notice the thoughts that you're having, notice your internal experience, and to take a step back and to observe that. If we can teach people to empathize and realize how they hurt others with their words and actions, perhaps cyber bullies can become more self-aware and help make social media an even more positive atmosphere. Recognizing that when we support each other and when we raise each other up, like that's really where our power is. And we need to find that power. This all leads back to education. Without the funding and the tools, the number of affected teens and tweens will continue to rise. I think a lot of people, um, they think of school as a place where we just do academics, but I think fundamentally for me, school is a place where we learn to become um, people. Not only do teens and tweens need to be educated, but parents and guardians too. There needs to be some thought and attention given to when smartphones are introduced because it's a lot of power in that little square. It's all about teaching digital citizenship. Currently, only a few states offer digital citizenship lessons in schools. Most states have made sex ed mandatory, so why not digital citizenship? Both types of education have the power to affect and save lives. If you or someone you know needs help or has thoughts of suicide, you can text HOME to 741741 or call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800-273-TALK. Help is out there. You are not alone. People submitted some amazing artwork last week. Here they are. artwork last week, the deadline to the January's bird theme is the last day of January. If you send any bird drawings after the last Tuesday video, we might or might not add your artwork in February. That's all for today. Have a great day and go Bears! Brought to you not so live by GMS TV. <laughs>